Hey you guys, AK47 Master here, and we are back with some more Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney, and we are in the long stretch here, guys. This is it, the final part of the last trial of the game. So, December 28th, 2.24 p.m., District Court, Defendant Lobby number 2. Let's get it started. Okay, I'm sorry, Wright. I've just wasted all of your effort. Uh, Mr. Edgeworth, I just don't believe it, pal. I mean, you, kill your dad? I didn't want to believe in myself, detective. But, it's the truth. I deserve to be punished. Murder is murder, no matter what the circumstances. This is crazy! Just crazy! Hmm. Um, Nick, what are you doing? Huh? Oh, I was just reading through the court record once more. I'm getting my case ready. Your case? For what? Huh? Isn't it obvious? I'm going to prove that Miss Miles Edgeworth is innocent. Again. Well, what are you talking about, pal? He just admitted it. He confessed that he did it. In court. I'm sorry, Edgeworth. But I don't believe your nightmare. What? What? It's just a dream. It's not real. The truth is right here in this court record. In any case, tighten your belts. The real fight is just beginning. I'll prove you're innocent. Trust me. Alright. Thank you. Wow. Wright has such a big heart. Never would have guessed. December 28, 2.30 p.m. District Court. Courtroom number 3. Okay, so this is it. Then I would like to resume our trial. Judge, Miles Edgeworth has admitted his own guilt. He has confessed his crime. Let us begin by hearing his testimony. Then, through pointless, you let the then though pointless, let the defense do their cross-examining. The statute of limitations on the DL6 incident runs out today. Though it's un un unconventional for me, I'd like to run this one by the book. I see. Does the defense have any objections? Nope. Let's get it started. No, Your Honor. Von Karma, you knew this was going to happen from the very beginning, didn't you? Very well. Will Miles Edgeworth take the stand? Okay, guys, this is it. This really is it. The last one. Will the defense state his name and profession? Miles Edgeworth, I am a prosecuting attorney. Mr. Edgeworth, 15 years ago you mistakenly killed your father, Gregory Edgeworth. Is this correct? It is correct. Then testify about this matter to the court. When Edgeworth was telling me about his dream yesterday, I noticed something. One detail didn't quite fit. That would be the key, but only if I could get it to work. Please, please. <laughs> Alright, DL6 incident, witness testimony. That day I had gone to the courtroom to observe one of my father's trials. As we went to leave, an earthquake struck, trapping us in the elevator. Here's the, the picture. My father and Mr. Yogi lost their composure and began to argue. Just then, something heavy fell at my feet. That being the pistol, I picked it up and threw it at Mr. Yogi. I wanted them to stop fighting. A moment later, there was a single gunshot, then a scream. It was a terrible scream. I remember it to this day. That's all. Hmm. And until now, you thought this memory was a dream? We were stuck in that elevator for five hours. The oxygen in the elevator ran out and I lost my memory of the events. Bah! The same claim Mr. Yogi has made. Very well. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination, please? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. This is it. Final cross-examination. That day I had gone to the courtroom to observe one of my father's trials. We went to leave and earthquake struck, trapping us in the elevator. Father Mr. Yogi lost a composure and began to argue. Alright, let's just, uh, go to... There. A single gunshot. That's weird, because there were two bullets. The gun fired once? Yes. I think after I threw it, I lost consciousness. Since then, they've echoed in my head every day. That gunshot and that horrible scream. Notice the emphasis on the scream. This is actually a very vital part of the case. The scream? Okay. It was a terrible scream. I remember it to this day. Alright. So what we're going to want to pull out once again is the DL6 case file. So as you can see right there at the bottom of victim data, it says the murder weapon was fired twice. We want to present that. Are you sure you only heard one gunshot? Yes, I'm sure of that. 
I heard the shot and the scream. Then everything faded. I was unconscious until the res rescuers came. I see. No, no, no. I say I think not. But that doesn't make sense. Look at this file once more. This plainly contradicts the witness's testimony. Do you enjoy dragging out that file, don't you? You do enjoy it. I don't accept this. I don't accept this evidence unless you can tell us what page it's on. Which page contradicts Miles Edwards' testimony? As I showed you, it was on the victim data. Look at the victim data in this file. It says it quite plainly. The murder weapon was fired twice. Oh ho! It was fired twice, not once. Miles Edgeworth only heard one gunshot. Yet, the murder weapon was fired twice. The first shot was the accidental firing when the pistol was thrown. So, who fired the remaining shot? Ho oh, ho, he's good! Hmm. Was there perhaps another shooter who fired that second shot? Quite possibly. Your Honor, as I am sure you're aware, this incident occurred 15 years ago. The evidence is dated. The pistol did fire twice. However, we do not know when that second shot was fired. No, 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 this is not good evidence. It might have been fired the day before the incident. Ha ha ha. There's no proof that the second shot had anything to do with this incident. What? Hmm, I see, I see. You do have a point, Mr. Wright. The murder weapon was fired twice, as we have heard. One of those shots was fired by the defendant of boy at the time. Do you have any proof that the other sh fu shot fired has something to do with the case? Actually, we do. It's actually a photograph in our court record. Your Honor, I think I will sh be able to show you proof. What? Impossible. No, no, Mr. Von Karma. Save your surprise for after you've seen the evidence. Very well, Mr. Wright. Show us your proof. Do you have any evidence that the second firing of the pistol is related to this case? Yep, and the picture in particular is the DL6 incident photo. As you can see, you can see that gory mess th that is Edgeworth's father when they, he got shot in the heart. Uh, but if you look up to the top, you can see a bullet hole in the elevator door. This was the second shot. Look at this photograph. This is a photograph of the scene of the crime 15 years ago. I can see the, that the victim lying there is Gregory Edgeworth. This proves the murder weapon was fired twice at the time of the incident. This photo proves it. So let me guess this straight. This photo proves two shots were fired. Alright guys, I apologize about that. Alright, your honor, please, please get a clue. Show the judge the contradiction in the photo. Alright, and it's right here as I showed you. Let's press A. And there you go. As, sh as should be obvious, the contradiction is here. I see, a bullet hole in the door. Your Honor, Gregory Edgeworth was killed by a shot from the pistol. Yet, there's also a bullet hole in the elevator door. We also know that the murder weapon was fired twice. Thus, some someone other than Edgeworth fired that second shot. Oh, order, order. Mr. Wright, what are you driving at? It's simple, Your Honor. At the time of the incident, two shots were fired. One went into Gregory Edwards' heart, the other hit the elevator door. Remember that the defendant lost consciousness after the shot he fired rang out. In conclusion, we must agree that the second shot was fired by someone else. Mr. Wright, but who could that someone else be? The murderer, of course. Huh. <laughs> I knew I should have stepped in before your wild fantasies get out of hand. Mr. Wright, look once more at the DL6 incident case file. Look closely. Try the case summary page. The case summary page? That's on page one. Look what is written there. Not a single clue was found on the scene. Ah, ah, ah. If the pistol had indeed been fired twice, then the other bullet would have been discovered on the scene. He does have a point. That second bullet has never been found. Why? Because the second bullet does not exist. That bullet that claimed Ed Gregory Edwards' life was the one fired by his own son. That is the truth of this matter. The whole truth, and nothing but the truth. It was undoubtedly something else that made that bullet hole in the door. Undoubtedly, you say? I beg to differ. 
Order. I will have order. Mr. Wright has proven one thing to us quite clearly. That the murder weapon was fired twice at the time of the incident. However, as Mr. Von Karma says, the second bullet fired was not found. It is highly unlikely that the police merely overlooked the second bullet. So, all we have is a single bullet fired. I'm afraid I have to discount the defense's claim. Tisk tisk tisk. I praise the judge for his wisdom in this matter. Ah ah ah. Gah, how did this happen? I don't believe that the second bullet didn't exist. Was I wrong? Have I been wrong about this whole incident? What are you doing, Nick? Why aren't you raising an obje objection? I'm sorry, Maya. What? I... It, it looks like I was wrong. Nick? If the second bullet wasn't there, then all my conjectures are for nothing. No, no, no. But you said you'd do it, Nick. You said you'd get Edgeworth declared innocent. I'm sorry. It's just when I saw the photograph, I thought that two shots had been fired. I was so certain of it. I thought I'd won. I thought there was, no, there was another person, someone else who killed, who fired the killing shot. But now, I was wrong to think it could be that simple. This case has stood unsolved for 15 years. Nick. Well, it seems that we have finally cleared up this incident. Only one bullet was found at the scene of the crime. That shot was fired by Miles Edgeworth. Precisely. I would like to ask one thing of Miss Miles Edgeworth before passing my verdict. Have you been paying attention to the trial so far? Yes, Your Honor. Do you have any objections? No. No, I do not. So you killed your father, though that was not your intention? Yes, I did. Oh no. He's confessing. Very well. The statute of limitations on the murder of Gregory Edgeworth runs out today. Therefore, I must pronounce a verdict on the defendant today right here. Right now! Ah ah! Indeed. Does anyone have any objections? I'd be here. I've been here before. It's just like my first day in court. There are so many things I sh know I should be saying. But my mind's gone blank. I can't find the words. Mr. Wright? I do have an objection. I must. I have to. Your Honor. Your Honor, I... I object. Tis tis tisk. No, no, no. Mr. Wright, on what grounds do you object? Him? Oof. Nick? I, I don't know. His case is perfect. Oh, no. Gah! It must exist. The second bullet. <gasps> Maya, what? What did you just say? Nothing. The second bullet must exist. But where? Someone took it. It seems waiting is not going to produce us any answer from Mr. Wright over here. Wait, wait, Your Honor. Huh? I, uh... The second bullet. It, uh, it exists. What? But we've just heard proof that it does not exist. I realize that, Your Honor. I'm really grasping here. Uh, it's just someone took it from the scene of the crime. That's what happened. But who? The, the murderer. The murderer? Then tell us, just who is this murderer? I'm still thinking about that one. Hmm. So the criminal took the second bullet? Why would he? Huh? First of all, how would he have found it? It's not easy to find a stray bullet, Mr. Wright. Was there some pressing need for the murderer to search for the bullet? Um, The murderer didn't need it. Why would the murderer have spent the time looking for the stray bullet? I haven't got a clue. What's wrong, Mr. Wright? Uh, um... Bah! The murderer had no reason to take that bullet. You don't want to admit it, but it's true. Ugh. Had to take it. Had to take it? The murderer? What does this mean? You're thinking too normal. Think crazy. Don't think why the bullet was taken. Think why the bullet had to be taken. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor? I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, well, the murderer had no intention of taking the bullet from the scene. But, uh, the murderer had to take the bullet. Had to take the bullet. That's where we'll end off this episode, because it's getting quite long. 
And I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and comment down below. Subscribe if you're new. I'm AK47 Master, and I'm signing out. I'll see you guys on the next episode.